But that's that old Wiz, ain't it? What y'all know about that old Wiz, though? <laughs> oh, God. One of the greatest mixtapes ever, though. Uh, I don't know. I don't chase them, I duck them. Smoke something, go to Wooden Stay soon as I fuck them. Susu Sauce is a sauce pack podcast. Man, that shit, that shit gave me nostalgia right there, bro. Shout out about that old Wiz, man. For real, dog. We'll, we'll bring that back. I ain't really gonna get into why we why I played that. Yo. We'll get into it, though. Yo, dog, end of the year, we gotta do, we gotta do, like, a whole podcast just dedicated to, like, this last 10 years of music, bro. Like, this last decade of music really has been one of the best ever. Like, cold, it, cold chain. Like, I got, I put this shit behind the 90s, bro. Like, I got the 90s. And then I got the fucking, the 2000 teens, bro. Like, from 09 to 2019, this shit has been one of the best stretches of music ever. I put this shit above the 2000s, like, straight up. Man, don't even ask me, bro. I put this shit above everything. <laughs> yeah, I can't, I can't put it, I can't put it behind the 90s, bro, because that's when, like, sampling was real influential. And I feel like ever since sampling got taken away from music, like, production kind of took a nosedive. But just as far as, like, artists with substance... And just artists that, you know what I'm saying, push the envelope and just great music and great projects. Like, I mean, you just played one of them, bro. Cushion Orange Juice, bro. That shit was a classic. Like, I feel, but see, back then, um, in the 2000s, they made like a lot of songs, but they only had like 10 good ones. Yeah, and it, you know it, yeah, and it wasn't really like, it, <laughs> and it wasn't really a lot of great projects and a lot of like long lasting careers either. It was just a bunch of, bunch of hits talking. But yeah, you know, yeah. then like niggas like back then, you had CDs, so you really could Only thing you had to do was skip the record that you didn't like. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But right. that's hard because you'll end up liking the record that you don't like because sometimes you'll forget to skip it. You know what I'm saying? Now you yeah. just delete it off the playlist or delete it off your phone or whatever the case is. Like back yeah. then, you literally had to listen to it even if the shit was trash. You would still know it. Yeah. Just just by you cleaning up and it, it just going in rotation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, I mean, it may grow. And it, um, them it songs may. You. Yeah, it may. It might grow on you over over time. I still, I still like when I listen to projects for the first time. I still kind of listen to it like that. I don't really do the playlist shit. Yeah. Like if I'm riding in the whip, I don't really like being on my phone too much. So I listen to I'll albums. Just, yeah. I don't even listen to play. I listen. I'm listening to this album today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Front I'll just back, yeah. Back, I'll just start. I'll just yeah. start from track one and just let that shit run through throughout the whole ride. That's so. how I grew up, man. Yeah. These new cats, they grew up. They grown up off play. Playlist. Yeah, so they're not gonna listen to the album the way we listen to it or we used to listen. Cause like the thing is, bro, like um back then, like I said, they made a lot of records, but it was only like a certain amount of good ones. Yeah, and then like I feel like that was a gold golden era for me. I w- I wish I grew up in the nineties. I would understand it, and of course I did my you know what I'm saying. I went back, did my uh you know what I'm saying condolences like cause I made hip hop. So yeah. I went back to listen to Tribe. I went back to listen to Busters like. It's just like a lot of I feel the vibe, but I would never feel the era because I didn't dress like them. I ain't really talk like them. You know, so I went into the. You know, what I'm saying like yeah, my era it was the like big pants, long white tee era. Yeah, and then <laughs> I mean like and, uh, I don't know, man. I just never gravitated the towards that era, era bro. You know what I'm like two thousands, like I never really gravitated. Like when like when the snap and roll, that whole snap and roll movement was out and like. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, that, I, was, that was, I was like, yeah, that like, was a phase, and then it phased out into like player shit. Like I just played the, like when, when Wiz came out with that player shit. Yeah, Two Chain was on that player shit. <clears throat> yeah, Bun B. Like it was a lot of niggas that there was on almost some player shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah Co- they was Co- rapping about Kurt Cobain. Like yeah, they was on, yeah rapping about a whole <clears throat> lot of pimping shit. But like even when this, but I was I was just saying even when that air was popping, I was listening to that's when I was listening to ninety shit. Like when I was yeah I feel nine, ten, eleven years old, that's when I was listening to ninety shit, bro. Like I remember hearing Reasonable Doubt, man, and just you know what I'm saying all the shit that was coming from the West Coast. You know what I'm saying guys like BG Knockout, Dre stuff. DJ Quick, another legend, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I mean, of course, I did my, I did my you know Ghetto Boys, Outcast. <clears throat> I went back, but I ain't Scarface. see, I ain't go back in that Snap and Roll era. I, I went, I went back when they went to the woke era, when like Ab Soul and uh, Joy Badass came out, type shit. When Kendrick came out, yeah, yeah, that's, but, a, that's when I went back. I didn't go back before then. I didn't really go back. I went back to Illmatic. Yeah, but and try call quest, but I really went back to a lot of lot of old school shit from like Rock Him to like it just like all the legends that I went back to. Like why they keep talking about these folks are the the best rappers and they the legends? 
let me see why then i understand why because yeah i, I went yeah. back to j old shit because nigga kept saying j this j that they understand went back to the old j shit I, i've been listening to pop because that, that shit just is in my life so it's just like i had to go i went back to certain things because Niggas was sampling. I was like, damn, J. Cole showed it, used a lot of whole bars. Yeah. Like, cause J. Cole, bro, he sampled, but he used a lot of whole bars and like his come on mixtapes and Friday Night Lights. Yeah. Like, I ain't even know it until I'm listening to him. Like, but it's, that's this shit Cole was saying, ain't it? Like, oh, that's that shit Ross, cause Ross did the same thing. Uh, Wale did a couple, like, it's a lot of people that was, and now it's in the biggest shit. And then Jay using Biggie lines, like, I, you know what I'm saying? So I yeah, was just and like... and then you just hear a lot of samples get reused and flipped. <laughs> exactly. But by, I mean, by the time that, you know what I'm saying, by the time Wiz and Kendrick started to emerge, I was already up on game as far as, like, 90 shit by the time that I came was around. Walking, I was that was fuck. So that kind of just... <laughs> so just me going back and listening to the 90 shit, that kind of helped prepare me for the for 2010s, you know what I'm saying? All the yeah, artists that emerged from I them, you know what I'm saying? Fuck, so. Third Eye Open, Pony and Gun, all that. I was woke. For sure, Before man. Before woke was a thing, bro. I was that, bro. <laughs> like, For sure, bro. Like, <laughs> stay, but, bro, I'm telling you, bro, we got to we gotta do a December. December when news sh- and shit slows down, we got to do a whole podcast. Just, just, just Yo, uh, top, uh, top, like top 100 projects of the from 2009 to 2019 bro we gotta do it we yeah, got they, to yeah, it's it gonna take some time we won't. I, bro i already got 50 songs <laughs> I, I mean not 50 songs but i already got 50 projects written I mean, down I, bro I, I like do, i'm, I'm ready for that, that shit i do the ones that you know saying got me through my little high school jump you know hell what yeah bro you bring you bring your 50 i bring my 50 <laughs> i'm working game. it's I'm like game, bro. for sure bro i'm already i'm already ready for that shit bro like, what you hopping into my guy Man, first we gotta say rest in peace to John Singleton, bro. First and foremost, just a huge, right. huge influential figure in black filmmaking. This man, this man, uh, he he directed one of my favorite movies of my childhood, uh, Waist Deep. That was that was a huge favorite of mine. I used to I love that movie. You know what I'm saying? He brought us Boys in the Hood, brought us Poetic Justice, got Janet Jackson in her first movie. You know what I'm saying? Got yeah. Tyrese and Taraji P Henson in their first lead roles back when. Back when most movies had the token black person in there, you know what I'm saying? They they weren't even thinking about casting lead lead black roles. So he definitely has some some vision and some foresight in that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Had production credits in a uh, fucking um, waist not waist deep, but uh, hustling right. flow, hustling yeah. flow. And then, bro, without him, bro, we may not have Friday. Like he gave confidence to Ice Cube. To, to you know what I'm saying to to get him to like go off and start making his own movies bro like Ice Cube wasn't even thinking about that shit bro so like we may not have we may not have Friday if it wasn't for John Singleton bro and then like just as far as like following Cube's career just after the whole NWA sh- just you know what I'm saying after the whole NWA shit and him going solo and just seeing how Later on in the 90s, West Coast music, West Coast hip-hop really started to take a nosedive after Pac died. Like, and you know what I'm saying? Death Row kind of broke up and shit. Like, for Ice Cube to, to for Ice Cube to start going into the movies and shit, bro, that's a huge, like, chess move and just a huge, like, just a huge bounce back, bro. Like, s- seriously, bro. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I feel, like, I feel like that was a huge move for Ice Cube's career. And without John Singleton, bro, you may not have that. Yeah, so, I ain't even yeah. <clears throat> I ain't even know who John Singleton was. I was like, who is the guy that keep talking about? And then like when they start naming all the accolades and the influence, I was like, oh man, he that guy. Cause you know I don't really, well nobody really pay attention to that background guy. You know what I'm saying? I don't really care yeah. too much. But when it's like, okay, he influenced the culture. We went have Friday, like it's crazy. Friday, Boys in the Hood, like and like these are all the movies that I grew up off. You know what I'm saying? This right. is black entertainment. You know what I'm saying? So of course, yeah. of course, Baby, we got, we you got know what I'm saying? Baby Boy, of course, like you know what I'm saying? We, we need, like but we need more of them though, like more yeah. of them like hood jumps. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, bro. Like he brought he brought the black experience and you know what I'm saying just everyday black lives to, um and just what you know what I'm saying just what we go through. He brought that shit to the to the to the big screen, bro. Like, Cause like, I mean, I seen Ti just drop the what is shit called Ti drop. I don't even know. Damn, he dropped the uh, he dropped the movie that you know said with Mike Epps and DC Young Fly and Lil Duvall in it. The movie was I like see that. the boob, the movie was like one of them BT you know what I'm saying blockbuster movies, but right. 
we need to get back to like the boys in the hood, the Fridays, like the real hood classics because like we got folks trying to do it, but they ain't doing it properly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. T.I. movie. It, I it, fuck with Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Yeah, Atlanta cold, but T.I., he got to do better, man. You know what I'm saying? We in a whole other era. Yeah. You got too much technology to be dropping a horrible movie. You know what I'm saying? So, some of the lines that they were speaking weren't even in sync. You know what I'm saying? You can see cameras in the corner. Like, you got, I mean, we got to be more professional, my guy. Like, yeah. you know, so it's it, it just like, man, <clears throat> I think it was called The Spot. I don't even know, bro. I can't call yeah. it. I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta look the it trout. up. The Trout. It's called The Trout. I got to look yeah, it up. Yeah, the movie called The Trout. So, I mean, with a name like that, bro, The Trout, you should have been, you should have been touching on Atlanta Trout culture. You feel me? Like, you would have touched on that. Like, somebody... You know what I'm saying? In the hood, coming up in it. Like, we, we need some more of that hood, that hood classic shit, bro. Yeah, for like, sure. We ain't got it, so. For sure. R.I.P. R.I.P. to John. Yeah, man. R.I.P. Yeah. to him, man. He uh he passed away from, you know what I'm saying, a stroke that put him into a coma. And, Word. you know what I'm saying, I just lost an aunt that who just, who just dealt with, like, a long history of strokes. So, I already know what the, just the type of effect that can have on the family. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Condolences to his family and just rest in peace to, the, to a legend, man. A legend. And, and and then one more thing, bro. Like he started he started doing this shit when he was twenty four, bro. And it's just it's mad inspirational to see people start chasing their passion at a young age instead of just settling for a normal life. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, man. And then he did that shit back in the nineties, back when it was even more difficult. So <clears throat> definitely rest in peace, man. Legend. Rest in peace, rest in peace. Legend. Alright, so alright, so man, we just got I just got word that Soldier Boy is sentenced to 260 days in jail. I mean, <laughs> I mean he, I mean he kind of brought it on himself, bro. You can't have ammunition in your crib when you know you on house arrest. Like, I mean, not house arrest, but on probation. Like, he been, he just been, he's been, he's just been doing a lot of wild shit lately, man. Like a lot of out of control, crazy shit. And then um, I saw where his uh, his home, his homie, his homeboys robbed him while he was locked up. Yeah, so yeah, I so. mean. This that was, was this is what Soldier Boy get. I'm all for fuck niggas getting locked up for fuck nigga shit. Yeah. Um, I mean, I feel I feel like like some some people need to get locked up because like they don't get it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When, when they get into these courtrooms, they turn into a little bitch. They turn into a little white boy. They want to talk proper. They want to say they're not gonna do it anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But when you out of the court, when you online, you ain't got that same energy. Only person I seen had that same energy with Offset. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, because he, he really come, cause, yeah, because he really from, yeah, come from that shit. I'll say, I'll say, had the same energy with the judge. Told the judge, fuck the judge. You yeah. feel me? Like yeah, he built from that clause. Off so the real. You already know. So he I feel he like, real. I feel like soldier. He ain't got that same. I know he in the coat acting like a little bitch. Cause he, he ain't really like that. You know what I'm saying? Some of these folks ain't like that, but they want to be like that on the internet. Man, get out of here. I'm glad he went to jail. I'm glad them boy robbed him. Because like man, you be having these young niggas in your crib and in and out, in and out. You trying to promote them, you know they you know they come from a different background and like they could be at your spot, but shit, they, they, they should have access to your crib in no in no shape or form. You feel me? They don't stole the shit, went on live with your shit, like, boy, you crazy. Yeah. Like, you the one let these boys run in come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Bruce, I mean, like Boosie say, man. Hey, hey, I mean, like like they say, bro. You don't you don't <laughs> feed the wolves, they are gonna come after your ass. You feel me? So, they they taking you as a joke. They, ain't, they don't really respect you like that. They just respect your bad. Yeah, man. So you, you, man, that's what you get. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I ain't gonna. I mean, I don't. I don't wish jail on I, nobody. I wish jail but, on a lot of niggas. Fuck but, out. I mean, soldiers. <laughs> I mean, ever since that biggest comeback of 2018, shit. <clears throat> Scamming niggas with the Some Nintendos niggas cool and all that down, shit, like heat check. He, I mean, I, I mean, I, I mean, I said, I said it as soon as he went on that crazy ass press run, basically doing a free, I'm, pro, I'm doing cool. basically doing a free promo run for Gucci. He was, I, I said yeah, the whole time I mean, he was wilding, bro. I care about that. I'm cool. I'm cool for the nigga going in, blah blah blah. But you know, you shouldn't be indulging in those street activities. You're on probation, my guy. Yeah. Like what, what's going on? Like some of y'all, like like my nigga Kodak, he. He just got caught by the by the folks, you mean you know what I'm saying? The feds, so yeah. Like, you know, you know they being investigated, so they 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 knowing what's going on. <clears throat> Can't play with these folks, man. Yeah, and then I don't I don't, <clears throat> I don't know with Kodak, man. Kodak, like Kodak, Kodak, man. I don't I don't wish jail on Kodak because I I like Kodak because I feel like he cold with it. Yeah. But he need to go to jail. 
For I, real. I ain't gonna say that. He just he, he just need to chill out. Nah, man. Nigga, he just need nigga. to chill out and just focus on the music shit, bro. Cause like these folks, man, they don't know how to, don't know how to cool down, bro. They just they just hot head. They just hot. They just hot boys. They out here on the net like that. They hot. Yeah, and then so and just, then and then even and to make shit even worse, it's like when you that nigga. Can't nobody really tell you shit, bro. He keep messing up. Like Cud done got caught on Canada border. With what? He had a weapon or something. Weapon, I think he has some some weed or some like, shit. Like, come on, like, bro, like you know what's going on, bro. Yeah, First and then like, and then mean... and then the, and then the shit I don't get is like, why was he the one driving the vehicle? Yeah, I mean a lot of people saying that why he driving, why he even driving? You supposed to have a driver. You a big star, man. You right. feel me? I mean, and if anything, <sighs> if anything, you just you 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 take a flight to wherever you go, and then just have your just have your homies and your entourage driving. You shouldn't even be it. Like, I mean, but that's on Atlantic, and that's on Cody Hill, grown man. But Atlanta don't really care about their artists because they already done got their contract going. They already going to make their little revenue. Yeah. So they ain't really trying to back them or, or put security behind them or put it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, you, I mean, they they just making too much money to be moving like that, man. That's yeah, all I'm saying. And, and I'm like, man, that's crazy. All these folks going to jail. Uh, Herbo is another one of them young cats, man. Got I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hold off. I'm a hold off judgment yeah, on that situation until you know what I'm saying. Until more facts come out. Got into it with his girlfriend. Pretty sure y'all know about the story and everything. She yeah, a little long. I mean, but somebody was telling me like, um, uh, she was saying that she got beat and all that type of stuff. But um, his face looked worse than her face. Type, <laughs> type shit. Yeah, and, and then, then like, it was <laughs> just, it was just certain, it was just certain part of the stories that was, that was just kind of like, really click. And then like we, yeah. we look, we look on the net. Back in the day, we see them fight, fight, and she she beat up him. You know what I'm saying? She thumping him. You know, so we can't even really we we, we don't even know to to take your word for it or not because you you've been thumping him, so we don't know what's going on really. You know, yeah, what I'm, I'm, saying? A, I'm a I'm a I'm I ain't really gonna speak too much on that. Yeah, so I just ain't, yeah, just cause that that's serious that domestic violence, man. You know what I'm saying? That's real serious. Yeah, and I, I ain't really G Herbo, man. He got kids, so. I ain't really want. I don't want to, you know, what I'm saying get but caught up in no crazy mess. But if we, if we, if we, if we are putting hands or is putting hands on females, we need to stop expeditiously. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause and and I mean, if you have to, <laughs> bro, just do that shit out of self defense, bro. Don't be the one that initiate yeah, that shit. Yeah, bro. Like it's it just, it just a whole bet, you know, what I'm saying type of thing that we we could be doing instead of just actually putting hands on. Cause she was saying that she he beat him in front of his kid. Took the kid with her home, but came back and beat her again, type shit. But I mean, uh, we don't know, man. Um, we'll, we'll 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 get into the details when they get released and everything. But we ain't really got too much going on right now on that one. Hell um, yeah, goddamn. Uh, let's uh real quick, let's talk about this Travis Scott situation. You heard about uh, him getting sued by DJ Paul? Yeah, I heard about that shit, bro. Yeah, it's I Before mean the club. Or, yeah, I mean it's just I mean it's business, it's business. But I, I mean, I, I felt see, I felt I, I thought he had his shit clear. Yeah, I felt D, like DJ Paul got a production credit on the song. I feel I feel or, like or Paul, writing credit or something. Paul was thinking that bit was gonna blow up, and he probably ain't really sign off on that. Thing, you know what I'm saying? Paul Paul smart, bro. He yeah, know, he, he know yeah, and then and then the um. The whole and then the Grammy performance, bro. Like if you look at the Grammy performance and then look at the the original music video from from DJ Paul's song, it's yeah. mad similar. And then Travis, of course, he had to he had to perform the clean version at the Grammys instead of saying fuck the club. He's like tear the club up or some shit. And that's like the and that's the exact same word for word hook from DJ Paul's song. Mm -hmm. So DJ Paul may not have cl uh, cleared off on that shit. So I don't know if it's from the song off the album. The Grammy performance or both. I'm definitely. I'm pretty sure it's definitely the Grammy performance. Definitely has something to do with it, cause Travis Scott is pretty much saying the same shit from DJ Paul song word verbatim. for word. So yeah, verbatim. So I mean, you know, what I'm saying that's just that's of course just business. He's suing him for over twenty million. Like and then I, I mean I don't know the situation, bro, cause DJ Paul he got a production credit on the song. Oh, so, I mean, I feel I feel like it's crazy, but it's just business. Yeah, but it's like, damn, Paul, you feel me? Like, Cud, Cud actually paying homage, and he paying. But Paul, Paul thought the song was gonna be a hit. I, I told you out the whole album, I hated that song the most. Yeah, that was like, yeah, that was one of my. That least was the favorite. worst song. On but that. I mean, I I mean, I do get what you know. what I'm saying Travis Scott was trying to go. You know, what I'm saying the type of vibe. He a rager. 
So that, yeah, and that's then one of he rage songs. Yeah, and then he, you know, what I'm saying he from Houston, so he real, he for real influenced by, you know, what I'm saying that whole Houston Memphis culture and just, yeah, you know, what right, I'm saying right so, so man, but yeah, you got to get the paperwork correct. Amundo. Yeah, I was saying that. I mean, while I was watching the performance, I was saying like, bro, why aren't you performing sicko mode, bro? Like, like you got why, Drake why, in the building, why are you like performing RP screw. I'm, like some bro Like that, that shit ain't, crazy that, that ain't the vibe That ain't the vibe for That was the vibe Like the beat is crazy Nah bro. if that was like A fucking <laughs> If it was for like A fucking B-side uh, Concert like what Jay-Z just did Then yeah I'd understand But Fuck the club book Is a B-side that shit is it's a, a C side. It's I mean yeah, but it's like it's real up tempo. It's it's some like turn up shit. That's 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 kind of meant for like a but performance the type of ain't environment. Even, no rage type of type of thing. The, the Grammys is like your hits. Yeah, right. You feel me? Grammys is your hits. So right for the soul, you should have did. But n- niggas love going to to the Grammys or some popular white people shit testing out they B side shit. You know what I'm saying? That would nigga. Yeah, and then he going. started yeah. off the performance with um fucking uh Stop Trying to Be God with James yeah, Blake. You know what I'm yeah, like, with James both Blake them, part of the song. Like both of them B sides, bro. That's I didn't get that's it. Hard. I didn't even get it, bro. Just use all that time to perform sicko mode, bro. Like that's the that's the that's the song, bro. That's the fucking vibe. You know what I mean? So Man. Yeah, that shit. Why, why be on? Why be on the fuckery? Why Boosie online, man? Telling these hoes to show their titties, man. What's going on? You seen that? I ain't even see it, man. I right, so Boosie, <laughs> Boosie. Got I, ain't re- <laughs> I ain't really been on social media like that much since ever since <laughs> Nipsey passed, bro. I really haven't been on social media that much. And this nigga want to be woke so bad, my nah, God. bro. It's Damn. just <laughs> it ain't even that, bro. It's just like. <laughs> That shit is that shit is just annoying, bro. bro. Like these folks get up out there, like colors, bro. Like (laughs) niggas just be doing shit for likes and retweets, bro. Like niggas be on Twitter trying to, like, hold on, bro. Like (laughs) niggas be on Twitter trying to like tweet the most realest, relatable. We know that. Yeah, but that shit is annoying, bro. I'm not trying to see that shit every day, bro. Like Like, seriously, Jesus Christ, I know that, bro. I be looking at that. Why it's all about who you follow. Like I don't follow nothing but like bitches. Like I don't follow no niggas. Only niggas doing yeah, but, that shit. <laughs> yeah, but then you see then you see shit that other people like and other people retweet from other people. I don't, I don't be I don't, on Twitter, bro. I don't, even I don't do, be on Twitter either. I just I get on there every Twitter. now and then to like the, just... I be on the book and Instagram. I just be on YouTube, bro. And you, yeah, YouTube. I just be on YouTube, man. really. That's that what I'm always at, but... But even on, even on YouTube, bro, you got niggas trying to do shit for views and ad revenue, bro. Like, I'm not... not I'm cool on that shit. That's not who I subscribe to. I subscribe to... Science and real life shit. You feel me? Skits and funny shit like yeah. news, hip hop news. Like it's all about who you subscribing to. You subscribing to these fuck niggas with a fake ass relationship and shit. Of course you gonna get know. niggas doing weak ass pranks and like all that type of bullshit. Yeah, I mean you don't even have to be subscribed to it, bro. Like when you scroll down, shit, it's a whole bunch of shit that they show that's recommended to you. I just who be looks at that. I don't. I mean I scroll right past it. I be scrolling man, right past nigga, the shit. He want man. This nigga. Get out of here, bro. <laughs> man, I don't be watching that shit, bro. I be on there it's just ass. checking for interviews and crazy, bro. podcasts and all that shit. I mean, I like when I see some shit I don't like, I hit the fucking the the little three button yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah. shit and just say I, I don't like this video, I don't want to see this shit. Like they showed me a whole bunch of recommended shit that I don't this nigga give wild, a fuck about. Bro. This nigga, this nigga, uh, scared of the internet, bro. <laughs> it's, bro, that shit is a whole bunch of bullshit on there, bro. Like, I'm, I'm cool this nigga, on that shit. Wow, talking about like, I'm you know what I'm saying? We, we, shit. Cause, cause, like, I mean, you got to think about it, bro. We, we grew up with this shit. We grew up with this internet shit. So at some point, you gonna grow immune to it. I'm, I'm immune to it, bro. I'll be reading to none of that shit. I don't read the in life anyway, bro. I be, I'm just, I'm just chilling, bro. Y'all niggas be spazzing. I'm chilling. I just be, I just, I, I just don't want to see this shit. <clears throat> but yeah, Boosie man, he out here, man. He was throwing this little pool party, John, at this crib. So he was on live, like, recruiting bitches. You know what I'm saying? Cause he, on, his little, on his little tweet away, he was like, uh, I, I need all the bad bitches, man. We're going to throw a family-friendly Southern cookout with Southern food, Southern hospitality. It's going to be a topless pool party. I need all the bad ones. Hit my DMs. We're going to check it out, and we're going to contact you. So then he get on live, bro, and then, like, you know what I'm saying? He was on lot on Instagram live, and then girls are calling, and then they they just lift up the shirt. Mm, nah. <laughs> and you know what I'm saying? Boosie was like, okay, I'm rocking with them, them, them nice man. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and one one girl, one girl that he 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 was with in uh I forgot I forgot what what it was, but I think it was in uh DC. Yeah. You feel me? He was she was like, Yeah, I was with you, remember I was in with you in DC, we was in a rave. He was like, Yeah, you saw my you saw my <laughs> <laughs> she was like, she was like, yeah, we did more than that. It, it, it was like, man, it was good when it <laughs> Boosie wild, bro. Mm. He ain't even remember shouting, bro. Like that's wild. So man, Boosie got to chill out, bro. <laughs> I, I mean, Boosie needs his own podcast, bro. Like, Boosie is Boosie wild. Is a personality like, that nigga, for sure, he got bro. he got females showing titties on live. I'm surprised nobody ain't ban like they ain't ban him, bro. Yeah, he need his own podcast, man. Yeah, that show, he, that show be lit. He needs sure. some, bro. We gonna hop into these albums, man. All right, so we, the first, the first album we gonna hop into. Did you hear the Wiz Khalifa album? I saw it, but I haven't listened to it yet. And that's why I played Mesmerize. Do you understand, bro? Like, Wiz, is it is it on that listen, Christian OJ vibe? Listen, I ain't. I'm not the biggest Wiz fan. Like, after Christian Orange Juice. I felt like everything that nigga dropped after that was bullshit. Not everything. Everything. Taylor, I fuck with Taylor Alderdice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Taylor Alderdice. That was that was fire. Bro, listen. Taylor Alderdice was. Only fire. thing that he dropped that was kind of it's kind of crazy was like forty eight grams, that little mixtape. But he was fucking yeah. around on that. Like that's when the nigga started using auto tune crazy. Yeah. But roll, I, was, roll, I was fucking with some shits on there. Yeah, Rolling Papers, Rolling Papers was straight. I was fucking with you know what I'm saying a lot of songs off of there. But mainly the main project for me was Taylor Alderdice. I, I fuck with listen, that project heavy. Listen, all right. So I've been looking for this Wiz. Like this Wiz ain't been, bro. When I tell you, bro, this shit nostalgic. Like he on some player player shit. All right. He ain't miss. He ain't. He shoot. He shoot hundred percent from the field, bro. All right. Like that's, listen. That's what's up. That's what's listen, up. Listen, like, I, bro. You know me. You know I shit on a nigga, bro. Yeah, that's what's you, up. You know how I get down, bro. <laughs> soon, soon as I soon as I leave here, I'm, I'm, I'm putting that shit Fly on play. Fly times, bro. Listen, sure. listen, bro. Sure. I, I know you rock with this shit because this type of shit that you be on. Yeah. Bro, listen. I'm listening to the shit because, like, like I told you, I ain't listening to no rap rap shit. I'm listening to melodic because it's easy to memorize and all that type of shit. Yeah. Wiz on some shit, bro. Like, honestly, Wiz, Wiz is on it. And I, 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 I don't know who his homie was who was in his ear like, you need to get back on your bully, but to that guy, I thank you. I thank you with all my heart. All right. He in his bag. All right. That's what's up. He's in his bag. Like I don't, bro. You you listen to that and you need to you need to let me know. X side text me, bro. This shit player. Tell me if I'm tripping, bro. I right, I got you, bro. I'm gonna right. listen to that shit as soon as I leave here. I just been I just been listening Sheesh. to schoolboy shit. I've been listening to pivot gang shit. I'm still listening what, to What some, made you not click on that? Because you're a Wiz fan. I just, I'm, I don't know. I just, I, I like to, I like to, like, I like to save albums and then just, I just be putting shit off till later, yeah, bro. Yeah, me too. Bro. I like to, I like to listen to albums, like, when I'm in the car, bro. Like, I don't like to listen to shit on the phone or, you know what I'm saying, when I'm in the house. I like to be in the car riding <clears> around when I listen to this shit, so. That's why, that's why I started a podcast with that player shit, because Wiz went back to that player shit, bro. You feel me? Gotcha. But now let, let's hop into the school, man. The school gotcha, boy. Bro. What you like? Right, what you school boy, album? man. Uh, <laughs> all right, so his best album is Ice and Moron. Blank face. <laughs> nah, it's, all right, all right, his best rapping album is Blank Face. His best rapping album. His best album, like song wise, is Ice and Moron. I feel you because Oxymoron had more hits, but just as far as like a cohesive project and just getting the full story across, I definitely go with Blank Face for sure. I ain't wrong, right, but I, production. I'm gonna give Blank Face. Every, I, I just feel like everything, Listen. everything on that project was solid to me. It didn't have the hit records like you know what I'm saying, Studio and Man of the Year and all that shit. But man, that Listen. was a solid Oxy project. To crazy. Me. I'm gonna listen to Blank Face again because the mood that I was in when I was listening to Blank Face, I was on that. That was that trap. That was a trap season. I was on that thug heart heavy. Yeah, young thug. I was on that thug heavy. Yeah, but even when so, even in that era, bro, TDE was always bringing something different to the yeah, table. Yeah, we yeah, had, and, yeah. Yeah, schoolboy with that, and then you had Kendrick with "To Pimp a Butterfly" in the same time frame. I went, I wasn't looking for that from school. I'm looking for this shit that he dropped with Crash Talk. So Crash Talk. Let's get into Crash Talk. Yeah. Um, with Crash Talk, I feel like Num Num Juice 
is the best song on the album. Mm, uh, um, I mean, it's I mean, No No Juice is better, definitely a banger, and a lot of niggas are sleeping on that shit. He he fooled me, bro. He fooled me. He had me thinking his album was gonna be on some num num juice, and I told you if the whole album sound like this, bro, dope. He only got a, one more other song sound like num num juice, and that's that five that was fifty two hundred. 5200 Gang Gang Bro Gang Gang was hard The first song off the album That shit was hard Gang Gang It was okay That shit was hard The song with a uh, little Baby That shit was hard And, and I feel I feel like the best song the Like the hit on the album Should be live Tyler Dines and YG Tyler, Tyler Oh yeah that Tyler song Dines. That song That song That song Ty hard Tyler Sign and YG That song hard That song hard That song hard, that song hard For sure that's on hard, man, and and I and I say I say the Kid Cudi joint is crazy. That's my favorite song off the whole album. Like like the, the the album ain't trash, right? The album is okay. Yeah, it's not as it's not as I don't think it's his best project. Even though yeah. with each listen, it's it's start, it's growing yeah, on me it, more and more. I feel more. like I feel like it'll grow on me. Yeah, it's growing on me. But, but when, uh, when that numb nut numb nut juice stands out, like it stands out, like nothing yeah. on the album really sound like it. It stands out. You feel me? And I feel like he should have had more of those on there. Just a just a crazy like the the way the beat bounce. Yeah, the bang stuff. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like how he aggressive on it is yeah. just like yeah, yeah, yeah. The flow, the even the tempo that he was using, he should have that should have been reciprocated. That should have been done a lot of times on his album, but it yeah. wasn't. That shit was hard. That shit was definitely hard. And I feel like people people are really sleeping on that and chopsticks, bro. Like I don't under, it's really they really aren't as bad as people Yeah, make chop, it out to chopsticks be, bro. giving it a, giving it a listen within the album. I'm, yeah, I'm you got to you got to really listen to that in the car, bro, to like really feel that shit. That's I just felt like niggas is like niggas be reaching for a Travis hook. Like after he dropped that Ask her where like All his shit sound the same Yeah and just, I mean <laughs> If you get If you get Travis on the right melody Bro that shit gonna be solid Every time Whether it's a hit or not That shit It's a solid song to me bro Yeah It Travis, really ain't Travis on his shit bro. It really ain't that bad But like I said My favorite song off the project Is definitely the song With him and Kid Cudi Um Yeah bro Crash Crash Talk is dope I can't remember the, the name of the second song off the project, but I like that. I fuck with that song too. I fuck with Gang Gang Heavy, bro. That shit, that shit was hard. I'm mad because Black Verse was like too. That seconds. shit was yeah. That shit was too short. That song was dope as fuck. If Black would have had a longer verse, bro, that would have been my number one song. Yeah, he he fits it. It came on weird, like on some salon shit. Yeah. Like, what the fuck is this? I don't yeah. even know what sample that is. I know it's a sample. Yeah. That pian- yeah, that piano, that, that, that fucking, that weird tempo piano in the and, background. And the drunk, so the, the girl who's saying drunk, I know that's a sample. I don't think that's nobody saying that. No, that's probably, he probably got somebody to say that. That's no, probably, it's, that's it's probably, not, that's probably Scissor or somebody saying It sounds like somebody famous, bro, but I can't put my hand on it. Yeah, because I remember on, uh, I remember on, Blank Face's last project, he had SZA doing. SZA the album, yeah, 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 yeah. He had SZA, he had Kendrick throughout the album on the the song Blank Face with Jada Kiss. That was her saying Blank Face. Huh? But do you that know was her why, saying that You shit. know why Kendrick is throughout the album though? Yeah, cause he, you know, cause um, they, 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 you know, what I'm saying they play, they play projects for each other, and then yeah, yeah. And when Kendrick, when Kendrick hears the shit, he'll, he'll, t- he'll, he'll take, he'll, he'll take it, he'll try to add some ideas to it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. He did that. He did that throughout all the way throughout Blank Face, bro. Yeah, cause and like he, the thing is, bro, Kendrick stopped doing that little ad lib shit, that crazy, stupid ad lib shit when he did Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know how to explain it, but you know what I'm saying. Like with the little echoes and all type of stuff, he be coming on saying weird shit. Yeah. He started doing that shit after Damn. Before that, he wasn't really doing. He was doing the crazy voices, but he wasn't doing this like. Pacific. He was doing the crazy of, voices on to yeah, to Pimple doing, Butterfly. He yeah, was he was doing, doing the crazy there. voices, but to be like totally Pacific. Yeah, yeah you right. Yeah, and crazy. then I feel like with to to Pimple Butterfly, that's really when he, he that's got when he started, in his. My bad. Yeah, that's, that's when really started. when he got in his creative bag for sure. <laughs> I, I, I said damn, but I meant to say Pimple Butterfly. Yeah, my that's bad. definitely when he got in his. He found his his bag. Little creatively. Ad, little bag, and I hear his pocket. Yeah, so I mean, sure. I'm, I'm looking for Kendrick third quarter. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for Kendrick third quarter. They're gonna. I don't. Him. I don't. I don't really expect Kendrick to drop this year. I expect them. They're gonna, they gonna let school breathe for a little bit because school I already getting his recognition. They're gonna let that nigga pile up. Then I need. I need a good soul project. Fuck all the bullshit. <laughs> I need a good soul project, and I, I know Rashad on the on the on the table. Rashad. I know Rashad on the table. Yeah, I know Reason cooking up. 
But like they go, they go in order. So yeah, Sizzle. Soul. S- s- who was the last one to drop? I think it was Soul, bro. No, nah, it was Reason. The last count Reason, bro. I mean he's Come I mean on. he's TDT. He's TDT. <laughs> For reasons, bro. And then we got and then before they had J Rock. So I think I don't think J Rock gonna be in this rotation. I uh, think I think Kendrick gonna be the first to drop because Soul was the last drop. Then it's gonna be Kendrick, Scissor, and then Soul again. But then Rashad gonna be somewhere yeah. in there. And then they had this dude named Zakari that just dropped the project. I know I know they don't really matter to you, but it they you know what I'm saying they they prioritize them black within the my guy. I'm I'm talking about TDE <laughs> as a whole, bro. You can't just talk about Black Hippie. It's it's a whole label. They yeah, they I got mean, other artists that they prioritize really as well. I really fuck with reasons like that, bro. Like I told yeah. you, I ain't listen to that rap shit. But yeah. I, I will listen to a, a rap soul project. You know, of course, the Kendrick and then Isaiah. He gonna come with melodic shit. So I'm gonna yeah. listen to Isaiah. He gonna come with that player melodic. Yeah, shit. he gonna come with that 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 Tennessee, Memphis down south shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Rocking. That Nashville shit, you know. Who has dropped? Rico Nasty. I, uh, Kenny. That was another. That was another project that I saved, but I haven't got to it yet. Listen to yeah. it, and I, I went. I went. I ain't too hype, bro. I ain't too hype. I'm mad because like certain songs that she dropped throughout the year, they had the same vibe of this album, which is Anger Management. It had the same vibe, but it wasn't on the album. Like La La. Yeah. And it was another some other Jones that she dropped. Throughout the year That should have been On his album Yeah She only got two records Out of like nine That I like The project real short It's an easy listen yeah. You know what I'm saying But you gotta be into that vibe Like that rage shit Yeah You know what I'm saying Yeah um, yeah. It's definitely It's definitely certain shit That you gotta be You gotta be angry When you listen to that shit Like Like I, t- I say this all the time Like a lot of people Didn't like Yeezus But like you really gotta be Angry as fuck Or in just like a, a real You gotta appreciate music that and then you just really got to be in like a I don't give a fuck move to like really understand that album. Like, Cause I'm not. That's angry, real. I'm that's one. Of, that's one of my person. favorite projects from Kanye. Honestly, I'm not an angry person. I just appreciate music. So if yeah. you appreciate music, you appreciate gay. You appreciate yeah. this. But yeah. sometimes when you're angry, bro, certain shit like that, you'll feel it even more. Like for real, for real. Let's get into uh, uh, Jaden dropped like a little EP. Jaden Smith, yeah, I saw that shit too. I saw that. I listen to it. It's okay. I, I like this little EP, bro. So whatever he got coming. Yeah, Jaden. Yeah, Jaden Smith always dropping solid music, bro. Like always. Like he got better because this is hard. Just for like what how many songs? It three songs. This is hard. I'm rocking. Yeah, I heard him. I saw Kevin Abstract drop the EP. I also saw he. I um, listened to the Kevin Abstract EP. You heard it? I heard it. What do you think? Um. I like him and Ashcraft. Yeah, I couldn't find this shit on SoundCloud, bro. I, I like it. You know what I'm saying? I, I like it. O three Greedo dropped yeah. his album. Yeah, and, and then real quick with Kevin Abstract, uh, he um he did a little pup, a little PR thing where he had a treadmill outside his house and he ran on the treadmill for ten hours. So, how the fuck you do that? I don't know, but that's 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 great publicity. I know that. I gotta see that. I don't think he did that for real. It, it's on it's on tape, bro. It's on video. I, I look it up because I don't believe that shit. Fuck no, it's crazy. We got O three Greedo. Yeah. Uh, summer is still, still summer in the projects. I ain't listened to this yet. Oh yeah, I'm gonna listen to that. Yeah, I, I think I, I I saw that. I saw that shit too. Free Free O three. We got Shy Glizzy covered in blood. I saw that too. I saved that album too, but I just haven't got. It's just yeah. it's a lot of shit I need to get. Haven't to. listened to it. You got yeah. Smoke Perk Lost Planet. Yeah. Yeah, I I ain't really I ain't really the biggest smoke bird fan. I listen to this album. Um, that's that's, uh, that's more your thing. Pivot game, know, pivot, pivot game, man. Pivot game. Pivot game. Saba's know. crew, they dropped their album. That shit was that shit was dope. That shit was dope. I've been listening to that for the last few days. That shit is dope. That shit's dope for sure. They dropped it about about a week ago. So I don't know them boys, but I they dope. They got their own. They got their own sound. They got their own style. They different. You know what I'm saying? They got that whole that you know what I'm saying that. That I ain't, I ain't gonna say conscience Chicago vibe, but it's like they not. Of course, they not with the. You know what I'm saying? They not rapping about the the drill shit because that, that shit is way too serious to be talking <clears> about. But they got they they got their own vibe. I fuck with them. I fuck with them. It's mad. It's mad chills. Mad laid back. That's kind of that's kind of my style, my forte. So I fuck with them. I fuck with that project for sure. We got uh we got Tink with voicemails. Yeah, I saw she I saw she <clears> dropped a single on YouTube, bro. That shit fire. This I listen to this whole album. I gotta I gotta hear that. This whole album. This album is a vibe. 
If yeah. you're looking for a vibe, this album is a vibe. Hell yeah. I remember I remember when Tink first came out and I was like I was mad, like I was mad up on her. And I, I remember like Timbaland was like jumping out the window calling her the next Aaliyah or whatever, like she I feel like I feel like he kinda fucked her up with that. Cause you know what I'm saying. I feel like she she way better than Aaliyah though. Yeah. Anyways, um, she you, better, you, man, you she can't. Better, you, she better I, than Aaliyah. Aaliyah did not write her shit. Anyways, you can't. You can't throw she the, better you, than Aaliyah, bro. Fuck out of here. Anyways, you can't. You can't throw that. You can't throw them type of. You can't throw that type of. That type of hype on a, a artist who's just gonna, now starting out. People gonna do that. You gotta. People gonna people gonna say that she not because Aaliyah created like. A, a dress code for women, Bruh Somebody gave her that style, bro. She didn't come in the game with yeah, that but crop, you still got to crop shit. They had they had stylists that gave her that outfit. Yeah, but you still got to go out and work that shit. You still got to you still got to have the image. You still got to you still got to have the confidence, the swagger. You still got to have the it's, it's it's certain shit that the person has to bring to the table to bring that shit to full circle. Not anybody Bruh. can just do that shit. Tink, tink fired him. If, if you, if you, yeah, tuck, but I would, I would have. If you took the image away and you listen to the vocals to the record, yeah, she, she definitely dope. I always thought she was dope. She I'm got just, better records than Aaliyah. Uh, you put Tink best shit up against Aaliyah best shit. Aaliyah probably gonna get him because Timbaland was producing that shit. That shit was crazy. But like, I feel like if they had a blank sheet of paper. The same beat, and you told Tink and Aaliyah to go write some shit. Tink gonna beat the fuck out of Aaliyah, bro. Tell me I'm not lying. Anyways, I Aaliyah feel like didn't write her shit. Anyways, I feel like you gotta when it when it comes to like throwing those type of expectations on the artist, you gotta you gotta wait until they like at least five years in before you can even start saying that shit. Not when Tink they when they come in, bro. not when they come right out the gate, bro. Because they. It's 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 certain it's certain, it's a lot of shit that comes with having a long lasting career, bro. You gotta yeah, be consistent. Yeah, Tim Timberland jumped out the window with this shit. Yeah, bro. he jumped out the window. I mean, Tink is definitely a dope artist, bro. Like he she, right. I always thought she was dope as fuck. He went lying. Yeah, he went dope. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't go there. Like, stop comparing other artists to other artists saying they're the next person. Just focus on being the first you. Like that's it, bro. Stop all that comparison shit. Yes, yeah, because that's when that's when niggas get swayed off off their course. But she's she she's dope for sure. I definitely gotta check out that project. I didn't even know she dropped the album, but all all I knew was about with the was the singles that in the videos and shit. But I definitely right. gotta ch check that out. Last little bit, unless you got something else. Did uh, you watch? Let me get into it, cause like there's some there's some serious shit. If if it's a, if it's Avengers, I haven't seen it yet. You said watch something, so I just. I haven't seen it yet. I want to see it, but I want to wait till the buzz dies down. So, nigga, fuck the buzz. They gonna get. They gonna spoil the shit for you. No, I'm. No, it ain't. Cause I'm not listening and watching none of that shit. My nigga, don't, bro, don't it, bro. I swear to God, bro. If you talking about the this Avengers, man, I'm, I'm walking we, out right now. This man, we who haven't seen the movie. Cause, bro, I don't like a whole bunch of people in the theaters talking in the background and shit, bro. It ain't like, even I like that. I would go watch some theater. This shit was packed to the max. Nobody and said. I, and Nobody I don't, I don't word. like that shit, bro. I don't like. Nobody said a word. I don't word. like being around a whole bunch of people, bro. I don't like that shit. Nobody said a word. I don't well, like whatever. Game of Thrones. I haven't seen it. Have you watched? Do you watch Game of Thrones? No. This man, who, who? I don't care, bro. I honestly don't care. What you that, got, all, all that whole prehistoric shit. I mean, it's. I fuck with the Hobbit. I fuck with Harry Potter, but it's like. I don't know, bro. It's just, it's just not. I, is the greatest show who, to ever face yeah. the planet. When it comes to, when it comes to shit that I watch, bro, I need comedies, bro. I'm looking for comedies, bro. Life, me too. life is depressing enough, bro. I need shit that's gonna make me laugh. But you, right, what you got? Bro? I don't like, I don't like a whole lot of serious this shit. This man bro. is bugging. But uh, Kanye Coachella, you, 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 you kept up with that situation? Yeah, Kanye selling these. Two hundred dollar pair of socks, my nigga. Like, what the fuck? I mean, niggas buying it, y'all. I, I, I wish I was yay. I, the price on all these niggas. You they, gotta be rich to afford that shit. They bro. buy Gucci, they buy Louis like that. Like, come and on, it's bro. All I'm gonna make you buy this. I'm gonna make you bro, buy this. Like, this, this, this easy. This God merch. 
Fuck out of here. N- niggas mad because he's selling it under God's name. But maybe he's putting it to the ties and offering. You you saw um allegedly he's supposed to be starting his own church. Yeah. Have you seen his house? That shit does look like a fucking monastery. Like, like a fucking mosque <laughs> or some shit. Bruh, like, you seen Yay House? That shit looked like the fucking Greek temple or some shit. Yeah, bro. like Yay House is crazy. I don't know if y'all have seen Yay House. Yeah. But shit, Yay House looked like a church. That shit yeah, that shit looked like a fucking So room. if he had a church he, he would design that motherfucker to look like a fucking monk. monk. Cause really, if you think about it, he getting out his clothes from monks. Yeah. Cause they wear orange and shit, but Ye just throwing different, like dull color. Like pay attention, bro. Yeah, he get he get he definitely gets inspired off different cultures for sure. He got this sauce from the monks. Yeah, like I remember the, you remember those fucking them, them sandals he had. Yeah, it had the, the the heel coming off the back yeah. type shit. Like yeah, that's that's definitely some some monk type shit, bro. Some, listen, some Chinese. That's why the Yandi thing. Yeah, come on, bro. He got all that sauce from the monk. See, like I peep game, bro. I seen it like from the first eye. Yeah, I'm like okay, yeah, he coming with these dull colors and these like. And, it, I'm, and I mean, and it's cool, bro. That shit different as fuck. Type of thing, sweat. This is a monk attire. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And his haircut very, very low. He shaved. He had this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. But shout, shout out to get. Yeah, I, I like the, the. You know what I'm saying? The aesthetic of it is very cool. You know what I'm saying? It's very pleasing to the eyes. I feel like if he had a church though, that shit'd be crazy. Like the the layout of that church would be so dope, bro. Yeah. It's so, just, I don't know. It's going if I mean, if it is true and if he is, if he does go through with it, it's going I'm a, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I already, I already feel a, I already feel a way about religion and all that shit. So I don't know. I I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait. Religion, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have a wait and see mentality with it. I ain't gonna really go. If he too, just, if he start a whole deep, new thing and just had it, just do Sunday service, like not, not even like have a. Have a sermon, just do Sunday service, and then go home. Just praise the Lord, and then go home. That's all we doing here, just praising. You go to church somewhere else, but you gonna come here to praise. Maybe you can start a Saturday church, like you praise on Saturday, and then you go to church on Sunday. Nah, you know what I'm saying. Most most folks trying to turn up on Saturday. That's gonna be the turn up. The the uh, you know what I'm saying. The 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 joint that he's doing. That, that's gonna be the turn up. So. I, I don't know, yay. Yeah. Yay, yeah, a genius, bro. He'll figure that shit out. I ain't, I, gonna, I ain't gonna doubt yay. Yeah. I just want another album. That's all I I feel like want. the next album gonna be like conscious. Cause he on this God shit. So he gonna make another Jesus Walks type shit. I feel like it. Man, save the gospel shit, dude. I'm cool. Man. Save the gospel shit. He trying to be Chance 2.0. I ain't really with yeah, it. Yeah, man. That whole that, ultra light beam shit. I'm cool. Trying to be shit, Chance, bro. man. I'm cool. I ain't really rocking. Shit. I don't, I don't I don't like happy music, bro. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I do not like happy music. I just like dope music. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but yeah, save say that happy shit. But um, I saw Ti, and I'm I'm glad I'm glad Ti didn't respond to that Kodak shit. The next thing I saw from Ti was uh he bailed out like over twenty three, like over twenty three inmates. You, you yeah, saw that? Yeah, I seen that. I seen that on Easter. On Easter, I, that was that was some dope shit. Shout that was some dope shit, man. He trying to get the attention off the the gay sh- the, the, the gay shit. Yeah, man, shout doing some and then doing something positive, bro. Like he could have done anything with that money. He could have went and bought a car, some jewelry, a, a house, or nothing. But that song dropping though, that ain't, that ain't his song. That's a Namir song. Oh, this, oh, that was just a feature. That was a feature. That's YBN Namir. So he gonna he gonna have to drop that song, or unless he just tell that nigga, nah, I ain't really rocking. But I feel like now that, that now that I, now that I know that that's a YBN Namir feature, that's interesting because he was rapping about like he was rapping about like like young niggas and like just he shouldn't he shouldn't he snippetized it he should have just like yeah waited like to, waited till the bit drop because now we going now I signed dated because like Yike already made a diss whole diss song to you. Yeah, yeah, I mean it's just on. I mean it's just it's just it's weird though cuz you want to you you featured on a young nigga song dissing other young niggas. He, he gotta, so like he, that he, he I don't gotta, really understand how that works. You got to cancel that. But I'm I'm not going to cancel it. I, I ain't going to cancel anything TI does, but he this got, the, he shouldn't drop it. It's sound poop. I mean it, I mean it's up to YBN at the end of the day. But um I doubt I doubt YBN is just going to tuck a TI feature. Like you don't yeah. you ain't going to get too many of those. See, I got to clear the bitches though. Yeah, and then got them 
But yeah, man, this is this is great shit, man. Bailing out over twenty three people, like yeah, that's crazy. that's great shit, man. Shout out to Tip for that for sure. Goddamn. I don't I don't really care too much about the situation, but you saw how um this the situation about Lil Yachty writing a song for City Girls. Yeah. You want to get into that? Cause I mean I don't I don't really care about it. I'm trying to get into the nah, NBA playoffs. N- but... Niggas niggas know what's going on. Yeah yeah. We got it. What, what he did, niggas know. Yeah. But uh, before I get into the NBA playoffs, real quick, I saw that DMX landed a role in a some in a movie called Chronicles of a Serial Killer. That's great. That's great. Cause when DMX was on his run, he was in a lot of he was in a lot of dope ass movies, and he killed that acting shit. Yeah, he so, killed he killed it, bro. Like I'm happy to see that. That's yeah, crazy. I'm I'm happy to see him doing doing you know what I'm saying making moves, doing good things. I hope he doesn't get sent to jail over that probation situation with the valet, but. I'm definitely excited to see him back in the movies, bro, because he was always a great actor to me. But, uh, okay, NBA playoffs. We Have you been watching it? No. Of course not. I don't not. care about the playoffs. Let's, just, let's get of to the finals, bro. The finals ain't <laughs> here yet. But, um, I'm just saying, like... I mean, it's the second round now, bro, so now shit really starting to get interesting, bro. Like, first of all, that whole... That Golden State-Houston series, bro, like... Niggas need to stop whining, bro. Like I get it. Like I get it, bro. It was definitely a, a few plays where Klay Thompson was guarding James Harden, and a few plays where Chris Paul was being guarded. Where those fouls should have been called, especially with Chris Paul. They was hitting his hand, and hitting his elbow when he was shooting and shit. That shit should have been called. But that last shot with James Harden taking that that three to try and uh, tie the game or win the game, bro. That shit was not a foul, bro. Like come on with that shit, bro. Like. James Harden done made over 200, if not 300 contested shots this year, bro. So, like, how how is a nigga not supposed to guard him tightly? Like, you can't give him an inch of space, bro, or else he, he going to... travel. Yeah, bro, and they, be, they be traveling and shit, Don't bro. Need, but... They need call that. Yeah, <laughs> and, and then to make shit worse, like, fam, you kicking your feet out into the defender's he landing spot. He mid-air, like, he... He didn't get touched and he fell mid. I seen that though. I seen that. Yeah, I seen bro. That and then he's and shit. then he's kicking his feet out in, into the defender's landing spot, trying to draw a fucking what? foul. He gonna injure himself doing that shit. Bro. Yeah, and then like not only that, bro. The defender has to have a landing spot of his own. It's already gonna be a bit closer because niggas gotta guard you so tightly, bro. That's like crazy. niggas ain't about to give you no inch of space, bro. You making all these contested ass threes and shit, bro. Like hard and but you can't you can, you can't give him no space, bro. So I don't. I I I'll admit it's definitely a few a few fouls that should have been called, especially for Chris Paul. But I ain't got no sympathy for that shit because even with all that shit, bro, James Harden went to the line like fourteen times. Like get the fuck out of here with that shit, bro. That's not the reason they lost. Golden State played some great, some pretty good defense throughout that game, and they missed a lot of shots. That's the main reason they lost. Even though Golden State was playing sloppy as fuck on offense, but. Yeah, you got that. And then um, Philly and Toronto, bro. I've been waiting for this shit, bro. I've been waiting. Niggas been overrating Philly all fucking year, bro. Like, seriously, bro. I, if I hear I, if I hear another person call Ben Simmons an all-star, I might pull out my fucking hair. Like, seriously, bro. You are not an all-star ben if you Simmons can't... Ben Simmons is sh- an all-star, though. Bro, you are not an all-star if you can't shoot past five feet. Magic Johnson. Magic Johnson learned how to fucking shoot. He had he Magic had a nice Johnson, little mid range jump. Shot though, it don't matter. That shit went in, and that shit was hard <laughs> as fuck to guard. Magic Johnson didn't even shoot that many jumpers. It don't matter, if bro. Any and then jumpers. and then he didn't have to because he had so much greatness around him. You got right. Kareem, you got Worthy. Yes, and Bill Ben got greatness around. Well, he ain't got greatness. No, nah, I mean he got. He got okay around him, shit. Yeah, I mean he got yeah, but then and then the way the way Ben Simmons plays, bro, like aggressive. It, it, yeah, it's aggressive, but he 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 limits the spacing on the court because now he has to play in the paint along with Joel and B. You know what I'm See, saying? Like, he'll be too good if he can shoot. He'll, and then he, and then he'll he's, be Russell Westbrook. Yeah, and then I'm even with even I I I still feel like Westbrook overrated too, bro. Like Westbrook overrated. Yes, bro. Like he's he just a stat patter, bro. You like, bro. Look at what the fuck he's been doing since he lost Kevin Durant. Wait, look, okay, okay, okay. He ain't he ain't been to the I finals. Somebody, hold on, hold on. He ain't been to the finals since he lost James Harden, mm-hmm. and he ain't he ain't been past the first round since he lost Kevin Durant, bro. He had like Paul George, he got Paul George, but still, bro. When you pay, Paul George play. 
he he played better than he played better with he play, he played better than 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 Westbrook with a bad shoulder. He went he had a hundred percent, my guy. He had a what? He ain't hundred percent though. He ain't he ain't fully he ain't Paul George right now. Yeah, and even with him not being a hundred percent, he still played better. He played better. I feel like he played better in this series than he played last year in the Utah series. But look though, man, you said you said how you gonna say Westbrook overrated? Cause bro, like that whole like bro the triple double shit. Bruh, that's hard I to don't, do. Okay, but I don't take that shit seriously when your center is boxing out and allowing you to get the rebound, bro. I'm not I'm not taking that shit seriously, bro. Y'all are purposely trying to pad stats. I mean I'm not taking that when, shit seriously, when, uh, bro. Ten, ten years later, they're not even gonna care what was actually going on in such game. They're gonna look at the stats and like, oh, stats I'm gonna be looking crazy. at what the fuck he did in the playoffs, bro. You, you you don't know what Bill did get them what Bill did uh to get out of stats. You don't know what um, Bill Russell. You don't know what he did to get out of stats. You ain't, you ain't seen the film. I know. <laughs> I know he had uh, like eleven championships. You don't know how he got them. They they could they could have been not playing hard. They could have been super super duper trash. Or maybe he was just you don't that know much. How he got that them fucking shit. Bro. I mean, if I had to guess, he was probably just just that much better and athletic than everybody, you bro. Because you got to. They said they they said they was Lennon Wilp score. When they when they find out cuz at bruh, night, bruh, the, the other bruh. team just let him shoot the damn ball. Fam, if you look at some of Will Chamberlain's old uh, highlights, he like this nigga is like ten inches taller than everybody, they, bro. The level of competition even, back look, then is not have, what it is now. Like they didn't even have niggas film. was light years better than other people. They didn't even film the game that he scored a hundred. They were just they would just recorded the audio. They did not film the game. How do you actually know that, that he scored a hundred? Who knows that? Yeah, but my thing is like, bro, the level of competition back then is not what it was. Now niggas was light years better right. than other people, so bro. It's hard to get a fucking triple double every game. I mean, but I, I, even I'm if not my center bro, is boxing out to let me get the goddamn bro, rebound. bro. The way I see Russell Russell Westbrook, he's not a he's a he's an athletic person who just so happens to play basketball. That's how that's how I view Westbrook. What's a Westbrook? He's not he he ain't a great basketball player. To he me, ain't bro. my favorite point guard, but he's the best point guard. Da- I mean, this playoffs just showed that Damian Lillard better than him. Like he Damian he ain't he begin than him, bro. when it when it Damian get just got a better team. I, he he Damian just a better point guard all around. Period, bro. Like no. he know he know when to score. He know when to pass it. He know when to Damian. He a know he know shooter. how to. He knows how to stay composed. He don't get too emotional like Westbrook be doing. And then another thing, bro, like Westbrook with these with the in the media with the interviews, bro, like he he he's setting a bad example, bro. And OKC enabling him to do that shit, bro. Like, but like, okay, Damien, you got to be clear, bro. You got to be very very clear. Damien's an all around better point Damian guard than Westbrook. Is not a better point. Damien is a better shooter than Westbrook. Okay, so, okay, okay. So who who who, who can you if, if Damien couldn't shoot? And when he took that three, they would not win the game. But he can yeah, shoot. Yeah, but they would have went in the overtime. But they probably would have lost, my guy. No, they wouldn't have. Bro, they not. Come on, bro. No, yeah, they wouldn't. Be honest, bro. They, bro, they would have won that game. Listen, listen. Dame is not better. He's just a better shooter. I, I'm I'm a realist, bro. Oh, like, and it, I don't it, even like Russ. He ain't even my favorite point guard. Okay, okay, but even <laughs> when you take the shooting away, bro, this man was getting to the hole at at will on Westbrook, bro. Westbrook couldn't stop guard. that nigga. Stephen Curry, my favorite point guard right now, and Westbrook for better sure. Than him. Westbrook too. better than him. Steph is just a better. Shooter. Westbrook better than Steph. Yeah. Oh, you crazy? You crazy? You crazy? Steph as fuck. is just a better shooter, bro. You crazy, bro? You crazy? Look, when you when you you sleeping shoot, on this man ball listen, handling? Listen. You sleeping on this man's vision? You sleeping bro, on listen, how good listen. he is in the? No, nah, he, he don't have. Nah. He don't. He don't have great defense. Westbrook is just athletic, bro. He That's don't got all great it defense. is. He's not aggressive. Nobody can ball like Jan- like uh Westbrook, bro. They can just no. shoot better than Westbrook. I'm Westbrook t- is just athletic and fast you. as fuck. He's just he's 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 a, yeah. he's, a, he's a slight better version of John Wall. And he's a good passer. Those are all attributes of a great point guard. He, he also Most can be a, the, the point guards in the league right now that people are considering better than Westbrook is because they can shoot better. If you take away the, if you level the playing field on the shooting aspect, who is a better point guard? Is All it, these Nick Dame no. and Steph, bro, they both better, bro. They better decision makers. No, they In the crunch time, bro, they better decision makers, bro. Westbrook be trying to take over too makers. much. 
They're, they're, that, that was a horrible shot that he took, bro. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't, bro. You talking it about it was that. contested? It don't, bro. George literally tested the tip of his hand. Okay, go ahead. It tell was me. and he faded. Away. That was a bad shot. He's just a better shooter than Westbrook. He's not a better decision. Okay, like, okay. So when you break down that situation, if Damian Lillard tried to drive to the basket, he would have either got double teamed or risked getting a fucking charge. Right, and then you, and then OKC gets a turnover like with I two said, seconds left on the clock, you, able to do some shit. As level, as a pole, level not, the playing field. Hold on, bro. I let you. I just let you talk. Let me bro. explain the situation, bro. Like, if he tried to drive to the hole, you either gonna get double teamed or risk taking a charge. OKC get the ball back with two to four seconds left on the clock. Is that a, is that a good decision as opposed to him draw draining all the time off the clock? Him stepping back and taking a shot that he had been taking the entire series and shooting from an area that he shot 39% from the entire series. So how is it a bad shot? He um, made that shit several times throughout the series. I'm saying, you saying that he's a better point guard than Westbrook. He is. I All said, around. I said level the playing field on shooting. Level the playing field on shooting. He's still a better decision maker than Westbrook, bro. He wouldn't make the damn shot. Point blank, period. He wouldn't make the damn shot. Okay, so if they. they okay, the same, so then they go into overtime. If they had the same playing level, the game to be over could. Rest that's rest. and that's another reason why but, it wasn't a bad shot. Because if he even if he misses, they go into overtime. There's no time left on the clock. They just go into overtime. They don't lose. Right, if, if you how many if you look at how many threes Westbrook took versus Dame, Dame gonna take more because Dame is a better shooter. Dame gonna make more because he's a better shooter. Bro, Westbrook if you take if you take away those threes. That were made, and you just take Damian level to the scrape to Westbrook level, and you play the game out. Westbrook is going to have a better game. Westbrook had a better game than him anyway, because he had a fucking triple double. Yeah, but he, he the nigga shot eleven <laughs> for thirty one. Because he had a, he ain't got nobody on his damn team. It don't like, matter, bro. Like fuck him and Paul. Like okay, but and okay. Paul ain't even know own shit. And then and then another thing with OKC, bro. It's like all it is is just pick and roll with with Westbrook, Paul George, and Stephen Adams, bro. Like there's no sophistication. Hey, I ain't gonna go into there's crazy. No, go there's ahead. no sophistication. There's no sophistication to their offense as far as like play calling and shit, bro. Like you got. And then you pay up Westbrook and Paul George all this money. You can't surround it with no good shooters. Go ahead, bro. And then, I, like, and then, man. and then my thing with Westbrook is, bro, like, you know you're not a great shooter, so why are you taking so many shots? I don't get that shit. And then, like, when you see him shoot, bro, he is, he's, he's a, he, I feel like he's an emotional shooter, bro. Like, there's no consistency with his <laughs> shots. There's, there's really no yeah, consistency yeah, yeah, with yeah. his shots, bro. I got you, bro. Like, that's not, that's not a good way to shoot. You gotta, you gotta be consistent with your shit, bro. So, but yeah, man, like, <laughs> It's, it's, it's as long as they paying him and and Paul George the amount of money they paying them they not getting past the first round bro I'm I'm sorry they are not doing that shit and then goddamn bro I swear to God bro if the Lakers was in this fucking playoffs bro shit would be different bro shit would be mad different bro them injuries really hurt them bro like seriously and then um one more series to get to goddamn uh Boston and Milwaukee bro that's another good one right there that's that's gonna be mad interesting, bro. Cause I like even before even leading up to the series, bro. I didn't really know who to side with. I was kind of leaning towards the Bucks, but at the same time, Boston has more people that can score and like create their own shot. You know what I'm saying? They got Kyrie. I'm not betting against Anthony Combo. I don't know, bro. I don't know. They made him look mad uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not, bro. If Milwaukee wins this series, it's not gonna come down to Anticupo. It's gonna come down to the shooters around him. They got to make their shots. Because Anticupo is going to get triple team. They're going to cut off his driving lanes. They're going to force him to shoot f- f- three-pointers and shit, which he's getting a lot better at doing, bro. Like, seriously. You know, like I say he's stepping outside now. Yeah, but that's not where he's comfortable at. No, no, no. He comfortable, he, he comfortable getting to the paint, getting to the free throw line. And Al Horford Al Horford is contesting that shit every time, bro. Like, niggas, niggas better stop sleeping on Al Horford, bro. That nigga shut down Joel Embiid last year. He ain't jumping. He'll, he stay on the ground. Yeah, he long as fuck. He long and lengthy, bro. Like yeah, he ain't gonna back down from nobody. And then on offense, he can shoot. So he forces the 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 opposing the defender. To, yeah, he stretches the floor out, forces the, the the defense to come out and guard him, which opens things up even more in the paint for other guys like Kyrie and Tatum and Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward back to his old self. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You got Terry Rozier. Celtics got a better team. For Al Horford. Celtics, they got a lot of people that can score the ball, bro. And I crazy. feel like that's that's really what it comes down to in the playoffs, bro. It'd be crazy if they win the whole East, though. That'd be crazy. They might do it. They just might do it, bro. They just might do it. That'd be crazy. Because even with Toronto, bro, it's like... They, Toronto ain't winning shit. I, I mean, I don't know, bro. They they, they, they litter, good as fuck defensively. Litter, that, litter just so composed. That's why. That's yeah, another right. reason why I like him over Westbrook, bro. Westbrook, oh, ain't, yeah, I mean, Westbrook gets too he's emotional. Shooting guard, though. <laughs> he's a shooting guard. So who, I mean, who? Westbrook? Nah. Um, Westbrook a shooting guard. He, litter, he should litter, be a shooting guard. Litter is a shooting guard. Even if though a shoot, if a shooting guard out here getting triple double like that, that'd be crazy. That that'd be crazy history. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't. I wouldn't call him a shooting guard, but. Yeah, man, that Boston Milwaukee series is gonna be mad interesting though. Right, camera. Nah, they bitch, they bitch out. Yeah, but um, yeah, that that Milwaukee, that's that's definitely gonna be a tough little seven game series. It's mainly gonna come down to Milwaukee hitting their shots. Boston, Boston, they just gotta stay consistent with the way they've been guarding Antetokounmpo and just just keep scoring, bro. Just keep scoring. Just yeah, just keep scoring, but. That's about it on the NBA playoffs tonight. It's a Golden State Houston game two, and then uh, I think Boston and Milwaukee game two. So second round, the second round is where shit getting interesting, bro. I was I was waiting for so long for that first round to get on with, bro. Because I mean, you already know Philly gonna beat Brooklyn. You already know they Brooklyn ain't really had too many people to match up with Philly, but now they going up against a real team. Toronto gonna show them what's up. I got Toronto in five or six games. I'm not really a huge Philly fan. I feel like they overrated. And, yeah, that's about it. Marcus Hall going to put them clamps down on Joel Embiid, Serge Ibaka. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Philly going to be dead. They fucking dead. Yeah. Yeah, and, I mean, even in, I mean they even beat them the other night. But even with that, bro, Toronto was just a few shots away from winning that game. So, Trust the process. Yeah. Still got another year or so to go in that process. Then they got... It's going to be interesting to see who they resign, bro. But I'm telling you, bro, as long as Ben Simmons can't shoot past five feet, that's they not they not getting to a championship with that shit, bro. That shit affects the offense way too much. And then him and Joel Embiid, they, too, they so ball dominant that it takes away from guys like Butler and Harris. You know what I'm saying? It takes away opportunities like them. Them, they really the ones, they especially Tobias Harris, they really the main ones that should be having the ball in their hands most of the times. But it's, when you, it, yeah, yeah. Ball dominant players that can't shoot that should affect your offense, for sure, for sure. But that's it. Finally, let's get to these sauce picks. Europe. Yep. All right, so sauce picks, man. I'm gonna let you go first, my guy. All right, so um, I got my sauce picks from this dude named Sean Smith. It's called All All Real Monsters. A A H real monsters, so yeah, here you go. Yeah, and this one too. I'm with the meanest type that I line you up like Adidas stripes. Keep the heat at night, hella G, but they barely read and write. Pushing packs, keep the smack on them like mosquito bites. They are all spark the nine. God sent me to walk the blind, so I'm the one they walk behind. You can watch him hand his king back, and I ain't talking vines. So plan swiftly, trust me, the chance tricky. You gonna have to find an apartment that's ramp friendly. Nigga, you can't spend me. Niggas just start squeezing and be the reason that you see the God of your man's envy. Legendary, I feel like a little pop. When y'all tired of mumbles from Lil Pussy or Lil Flop, just bang my old shit, sink and swim, cause it's still hot. Daily tweets say they can't wait till the real drop, cause most of these niggas suck on the mic like Jill Scott. I'm claiming king when this CD drop, talking doors, missing TV slots. I'm under they skin, blowing up like a TV shot. Better put their best line forward, just like a LeBron, before I light up a bomb, make them tighten their rhymes. Every day I'm getting nicer with time I won't stop till I'm planting I'm in the game Like I'm Ivan's and mom Ain't talking no loose braids I'm in a new stage to go stronger than Luke Cage To all of my troops paid Count the Fetty up, I ain't got no time for no shut-eye Far from Patterson My lawn of grass has been exposed But squares 
my garden that got me medicine. Grind real proper, weather ranges mean I got a bed. And time will cross, but never seem to see inside a jam. I real monsters, everything I seen was out of hand. I ain't had the fake rap was easy, so I'm snapping hungry. I was late in faith, sat with Jesus, can't no best to judge me. A lot of rappers say they mad and scheming, so they get them on me. I ejaculate if cats are seeming like they acting nutty. Load these notes for patience, have them slowly low key facing the business and I'm my barrel where it's no negotiation. Homie, only close to places is where holy ghosts are saying. Quoted mostly go with statements, don't approach me joking. Folky folks are hokey poking hatred, better hope we don't inflate it. Respected everywhere, so I ain't gotta bring the homies. I hold my own and I don't play with phonies. And it'll really have your mind blown. I move like the iPhone, they recognize the face, so they wouldn't lay a finger on me. Hanging with them cannons that'll bend you with you plan to get tips back to the cops. They'll fling you with the hammer. Mom said it down, she was quick back to the block when my stepfather got booked. We was split last to the guap. Getting money now, cause shit fast in the stop. Had everything at five, I was six, lacking a lot, like the singer from Atlanta. I click with the Casanovas, not niggas in fashion over. Niggas only tough as they can bluff it on their profile. See me, give me Joe smiles, these haters acting so wild. Let them niggas play and they can joke all sweet. But stay tuned, cause it's the lightest shit I wrote all week. Yeah. Woo. Shit. That was Sean Smith. All real monsters, man. Shout out to Sean Smith, man. Keep grinding. That shit was hard. That shit was fire, my nigga. Yeah. Yeah, that shit was fire. Flames, my nigga. That nigga got barred. What's his name is again? Sean Smith. Sean Smith. S H A W N. Uh, I think I know him. I don't know. I'll, I'll sing this shit. Hold up, bro. I think I know that nigga, bro. Was he on Sway in the Morning? I don't know. I just uh, I just uh, heard it, heard his song, and then I just had to play the shit, bro. I heard this shit. I swear I know what you sound like. It's a uh, S H A W N Smith. Oh, hold on. I spelled the wrong one. Yeah. Can't spell. You can't spell that shit like Sean Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was on Sway. <clears throat> that yeah. nigga Cole. Yeah, he are. He that are. nigga Cole. You seen it? <clears throat> His Sway freestyle is crazy. Yeah, that nigga got bars, man. That nigga for said, sure. stay tuned because that's the lightest shit he wrote Bro, all, all day. Oh, yeah. Like, that one ain't hard, but it, that one ain't the hardest, but that just that what I caught. <laughs> yeah, like, that shit, that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So uh, definitely keep just for sure, man. Just keep grinding, bro. Cause it's 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 getting harder and harder for dope real our, yeah dope real rappers to make it in the in a day where it's a whole bunch of parody rapping, a whole bunch of bubblegum shit going on. Like you been doing it for years, though. Yeah. So yeah, just just keep <clears throat> stay consistent, bro. Stay consistent. Oh, we got I got Lil Cobain, man. Um, he a melodic rapper. He a white guy. <laughs> he pretty dope He pretty low key He ain't even got more than 300,000 views On one of his records So um, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play uh, I'm gonna play uh, Let it play <laughs> Oh Matter of fact I'm gonna play Star Let's get it Hope I don't get copyrighted Jesus Christ Is he signing anybody? I'm, he's independent <laughs> Oh, 
That shit was fire. Yeah, just melodic. So you know what I'm talking about? I'm in my melodic bag, bro. Yeah, that shit was fire. That shit was dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, that shit was dope. That's Lil Cobain, man. He a white, he a white guy. Shout out to the white guys out there. He real low key, man. <laughs> he real, real low key. Yeah. He don't even drop like he don't even put his music on Apple Music, none of that. He strictly sound like he just dropped the album, and then you would think he'd drop it on, you know what I'm saying, the the screaming services, but he dropped it on his website, and then he dropped it on SoundCloud. Like he 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 low key as fuck. He underground as fuck. So shout out to uh, Lil Cobain. I've been rocking with him for like a year, like low key. Right. But yeah, that's all I got. Uh, we got, you know, I got my my album coming out, man. Friday, it is done. It's complete. Cover art is fire. Pre orders tomorrow. Um, well, that'll be that'll be May the first for everybody who listening. Cause it ain't no telling when this shit gonna drop. Drop. You feel me? But yeah, man. Um, this been a long one. We we took it. We took we we took a week off. It's two. cool. It seems we, like two weeks. We, we may hit y'all every other week. We just depend on how the week go yeah. for the news, man. So yeah. don't be surprised when we don't show up. But we're going to come in next week with double the news. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, Great episode. Great episode. Yeah, real cool episode. We're getting better with this thing. New camera lens, my guy. You know what I'm saying? I noticed. I was going. So I forgot we, to ask about that shit. Yeah, so we gonna be lit, nigga. I don't, I don't know how this shit gonna turn out, but it should, it should be great, Mister Mister Wedding <laughs> Wedding Cameraman ass nigga. You dig what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All that you gotta have your foot in each of those. But um, that's all I got, man. You got anything else to do? No, that's about it for me, man. So so sauce. I spent podcast. Peace.